Hello all. This is a different uh, power box that I have built and some of you may recognize it. It is a um, toolbox that Harbor Freight sells and the thing I like about this one is it protects all of my connectors underneath this flap and I will show it to you. Oops. There we go. So it's got Unlike my other power box, it's just got one set of connectors. So I have two 12 volt outputs that are um, Anderson power poles, a 12 volt cigarette lighter plug. This is again for lights on the side. The, um, you can see the volt meter with the um, USB-C and the and the uh, QC3 outlet. There's a switch here on off switch that powers everything or not. And I have recently just disconnected that because I find I really don't use it that much. I power everything on just by plugging the battery in when I'm ready to go somewhere. And the solar panel is the white one just to differentiate it from the other. And so I can plug a solar panel in and I use a little bit different device on this box than I do the other one. This is a buddy pole power mini two. And so it keeps track of how much battery usage you have. This has been all night. So it's used 0.4 amps, just keeping the power mini two on. And then if you have a solar panel connected, it will also um, tell you how much charge you put into your battery. So the hookup is very similar to the last one. It's the same um, fuse box. I have all the positives from every one of the different outlets coming to the fuses and all the negatives go to the uh, negative terminals. And then over here to the input, I kind of have double fusing. I have two fuses that go directly from the battery here to the input of the uh, Power Mini 2. On the side here, I just store my charger that I use to charge my battery. And the battery that I use, just connect this, if I can move this out of the way, is an eco-worthy 20 amp hour battery. And it's the um, kind of the orange one. You can see them on Amazon. And that's the battery I'm using. I use this predominantly for short parts on the air activations as part of my amateur radio hobby. And I can usually get an activation running, if I want to use 100 watts, I use about four, two, two to three amp hours in an hour and a half operating 100 watts. So if a person wants to have a box that will operate a little longer, then a little bit bigger battery might be useful, although this would work 90% of the time. So that's the, uh, that's the information on this one. I hope you all enjoy it.